Last year, the YouTube community joined together to support Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders, an independent charity that provides medical care throughout the world. We are the guys that go unarmed, white flagged, to give assistance to the population. In my first mission, I was just so scared. Don't be scared. You're in the hospital now. We'll take care of you. This is where the front line was in December. The conflicts are real, and the people are just normal people. They're just, you know, they're no different to you or I. So far, nobody has reached them. Really? You would be the first one reaching them. Hi, I'm Marc Dubois, and I'm the executive director of MSF UK, that's Médecins Sans Frontières in the UK. And I'm uh, making this recording, actually my very first foray into the world of YouTube, uh, to thank you all for the uh, enormous efforts that were made on behalf of MSF, and to thank you on behalf of the organization. Uh, in the end, uh, the 24-hour blog TV program uh, was able to attract at a peak uh, 1,300, uh, 1,300 viewers, and it raised over $32,000, and, and we're, we're very, very grateful for that money. This kind of funding, private funding from people like yourselves, uh, th this is absolutely vital uh, to what we want to do. We want to be able to respond to emergencies when they happen, not to have to start filling out forms and asking donors for money. And we want to be able to go to places like Central African Republic and Haiti, where donors aren't even offering money. Again, this isn't just a, a luxury for us. This is really uh, vital. And uh, so, on behalf of the organization, thank you very much. MSF is a private, non-profit humanitarian organization created in Paris in 1971 by a group of doctors and journalists. MSF provides impartial help to people in need, without discrimination and independent of political powers. More than three quarters of our financial resources come from private donors, which guarantees our ability to act independently. More than 80% of our funds are spent on supporting our medical programs in the field. 12% is used for fundraising, and 6% pays for administrative expenses. People who are now MSF publicly denounces situations in which aid is hampered, misused, or manipulated for political purposes. MSF will not accept that good quality medicine is the reserve of rich people in developed countries. In the 1990s, our doctors became bitterly frustrated at the lack of effective and affordable medicines for a number of widespread diseases devastating poor countries. Faced with this intolerable situation, MSF launched a campaign in 1999 to push governments and drug producers to make accessible treatments for AIDS, malaria, tuberculosis, sleeping sickness, and other neglected diseases. MSF also helps people stricken by natural disasters, such as earthquakes, hurricanes, or floods. We've established a temporary shelter and moved our operations outside of, uh, of those referral hospital settings. Uh, the reality of what we're seeing is severe traumas, head wounds, crushed limbs, uh, uh, severe problems that cannot be dealt with with the level of medical care that we uh, currently have available with no infrastructure really to support it. Uh, so our major priority and focus is to re-establish as soon as possible uh, a secondary level uh, surgical capacity in the country. Together, we managed to raise over $32,000. Our contribution was not insignificant. For example, $32,000 is enough for MSF to buy a mobile hospital, like the one shown here, that they are now using in Haiti. This year, on the 18th of September, I'm inviting all of YouTube to join together again in a 24-hour blog show in support of MSF. The donation pages are already open.